How you doing, you guys? Uh, let's get back on track here in Nahum. I know the last video had a little ruckus to it, but had to be said. But uh, I'm going to go through Nahum chapter 1, verses 9 through 15, and that will conclude chapter 1. What do you imagine against the Lord? He will make an utter end. Affliction shall not rise up a second time. Nahum is uh, basically asking, can y'all, can you people of Nineveh, you Assyrians, can y'all cope with such a magnificent God as Israel has? Such a magnificent, powerful God as Judah has? Can you? God's going to make a utter end to him. He's going to destroy him. He, uh, there's going to be no, uh, this is the last chance for him. Coming up in chapter 2, pretty much, it's going to be the last chance for Nineveh. They had their chance before with Jonah. A hundred and some, twenty, hundred and fifty some years before Nahum. They had their chance. And now these grandkids of that bunch, well, they've done backslidden. They've turned pagan. And they're going to get it. For while they be folded together as thorns, and while they are drunken as drunkards, they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry. Well, as a kid, have you ever ran through a thorn thicket or some wild berries? Uh, it's pretty difficult. Uh, thorns folding together. It's difficult. And while they're drunken as drunkards, uh, they're going to be delusional. Uh they're not going to be able to, uh, their, their thoughts going to be, they're going to have a laxity in their thought. They're not going to be thinking straight, get caught off guard. They shall, she be, they shall be devoured as stubble fully dry. Get a big old pile of uh, those thorn branches, pile them in a pile and light it. Whoosh, goes up quick. Real quick like. There is one come out of thee that imagineth evil against the Lord a wicked counselor. The invasion of Judah is being pondered by Assyria. They're pondering it. They're pondering to invade them. And this wicked counselor here is King Sennacherib. And this invasion is recorded three times. I got it written down here. It's recorded in 2 Kings chapters 18 and 19, 2 Chronicles 32, and it's recorded also in Isaiah 36 and 37. And when God says something three times like that, we need to look, we need to listen, stop what we're doing and take account of it. But uh, it's only going to be the second time. They got second, they got two chances. Once with Jonah, and now with Nahum, and I can make it to that third. It just happened to be recorded three times. Thus saith the Lord, though they be quiet, and likewise many, yet thus shall they be cut down when he shall pass, though. Though I have afflicted thee, I will afflict thee no more. Okay, uh, the Assyrian army were secure in great numbers, and they were getting comfortable with their big numbers and their power. They were getting comfortable. They were getting real comfortable. And God's going to afflict them into submission. They afflicted them into submission with Jonah. And there will be no more affliction after this warning from Nahum. There'll be no more affliction on Judah. There'll be no more because they're going to be dealt with and God's going to bring it. They won't have to worry about him anymore. For now will I break his yoke from off thee and will burst thy bonds in sunder. The Assyrian yoke will be broke off from Judah. There'll be an ease there. They'll... Uh, They'll be, have no more fear of bondage. And the Lord hath given a commandment, a commandment concerning thee, that no more of thy name be sown. Out of the house of thy gods will I cut off the graven image and the molten image, and I will make thy grave, for thou art vile. God's going to bury Nineveh. They're going out of business. And God is saying, uh, 
to keep the Mosaic system. He's telling them not to give up. Don't give up. Keep that Mosaic system. Keep the commandments and push on. It's basically what he's really saying there. Uh, verse 15. Behold upon the mountains the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace. O Judah, keep thy solemn feasts. Perform thy vows, for the wicked shall no more pass through thee. He is utterly cut off. God is saying that Nahum, again, is, is, is not to give up. Don't give up. And uh, God wants Judah to call upon him. Call upon your Lord. Call upon your God. Paul writes in Romans 10, 13. For whosoever shall calleth upon my name of the Lord shall be saved. Okay? Judah, call upon your Lord. Call upon him. Call upon him. Keep thy solemn feast. Perform thy vows. Come on. Okay? We'll start chapter 2. This was short. Chapter 2 will start next time. And the battle plan, battle plan for the destruction is coming up next. Okay? Take care of you guys till next time.